Hi, this is Trisha from Lemon Paper Lab. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a chevron pattern in Photoshop using the wave filter. Okay. Before we can use the wave filter, we are going to create some horizontal lines. So we're gonna go ahead and create a new document. For the dimensions, we are going to do 180 pixels by 180 pixels, we'll keep our resolution at 300, we'll set our color mode to RGB color, and then our background contents will be transparent. And then go ahead and click on Create. We'll zoom in on our canvas here using uh, the keyboard shortcut Command Plus. Okay, and then uh, to start off with, we are going to use the Marquee tool, and then here at the top I'm going to make sure style is set to fixed size and then I'm going to give it a width of 180 pixels to match the dimensions of our canvas and for the height we are going to do 90 pixels and then you can go ahead and click on the canvas and it will um, show you the the outline of that uh, those dimensions there Next, we are going to fill that in, looking at our, make sure, making sure that our colors are set to default. I'm going to go ahead and use the uh, keyboard shortcut option delete for Mac users. That would be alt backspace for PC. And then we are going to go ahead and center it. So I'm going to deselect command D here and then using the move tool with our keyboard shortcut V. We'll center it to the middle using the guides here. And then we'll go ahead and define that as a pattern. So we'll go edit, define pattern, and then you can give it a name and then click on OK. And then uh, from here, we are going to uh, create a document using our pattern. So we'll go to file new. Um, in this case, I'm going to, um, our end goal is to create a 3600 by 3600 pixel document. Um, but with this wave feature, I'm going to create it a little bit bigger and then we'll crop it down later. So we're going to go 4000 pixels by 4000 pixels, having our resolution at 300 pixels per inch. Um, our color mode is going to be RGB color and then our background contents we are going to set to white. Then go ahead and cl click create. Okay. From here, we are going to create a pattern adjustment layer. So here in the layers panel, I'm going to go ahead and click on pattern. And then uh, from the dialog box here, you can select your uh, most recent pattern here. Uh, when this box is open, you have the option to adjust the angle. You can increase or decrease the scale of it. And then you can also move it around. Um, if you wanna get it back to the original, you can click to snap to origin. It will reorient itself according to your pattern. And you can go ahead and click on OK. And then from here, we are going to convert this to a smart object. So go ahead and right click on the pattern fill layer and then select convert to smart object. That way we can apply filters to this layer. So uh, to do this, we are going to use the uh, wave filter. So we're going to go to filter, look at distort, and then we'll go to wave. From here, you'll want to make sure a triangle is selected. And then uh, the first thing you'll want to change is the number of generators. Uh, for this example, I'm going to use six generators. And then for the min and max for the wavelength, I'm going to set it to 332. And then I'm going to have the, for this one, you'll want the min and max to be within one point of each other. So we'll have it at 33. And then you can always play with the amplitude to see uh, what it would look like. And then it kind of gives you an idea here in the dialog box. Uh, for this one, we're going to have it set at 32 uh, with a max of 37. And then um, we're going to leave scale as it is, and then I'm going to go ahead and click on OK. And then you will see the, uh, the chevron pattern take shape here for your uh, digital paper. And then um, 
the next step I'm going to do is I'm going to crop it down. That way you can get rid of these um, edges, the edge look. Um, you could always, um, if you like that look, you could um, recreate it at the 3600 pixels to keep that in. But in this case, I'm going to go ahead and crop it down. So I'm going to go to the marquee tool. And then under style, I'm going to make sure a fixed size is selected. And then we are going to do our width of 3600 by 3600 for the height. And then I'll go ahead and click on the canvas here. And then I can move it around um, to get it to where, where I'd want it to be to kind of crop out those um, areas. So we'll just kind of center it there. Once we have it positioned in place, we're going to go ahead and crop it down. We're going to go to Image, Crop, and then it will go ahead and crop it down. After it's been cropped down, we are going to go ahead and change the colors. Going to, uh, in the Layers panel here, select the Solid Color Adjustment Layer. And then we'll select a color here for my swatches, a nice uh, purple here. And then we'll uh, create a clipping mask. You can do that by going right click, um, create clipping mask, or you can use the keyboard shortcut. In this case, you will hover between the two layers and then you'll select option click to create your clipping mask here. And then if you wanted to uh, change the color um, behind it for the background. I'm going to add another solid color adjustment layer here and then we'll select another um, another color here and that gives you um, an easy way to adjust the colors uh, creating a color fill layer for the background and a color fill layer as a clipping mask to your pattern is an easy way to um, be able to come back to your document and adjust the colors here. So let's go back to, I liked the white one here. And then uh, we will um, save this as digital scrapbook paper. So we'll go to File, Save As. Go ahead and give your file a name. And then uh, under Format, you are going to change it to JPEG. And then you'll want to make sure the um, color profile is still selected here and then go ahead and select save. And then uh, when you're doing a uh, digital scrapbook paper, you want to make sure it's a high quality file. So you can drag the quality to the highest here and then go ahead and select OK. Thank you for watching this video on how to create a chevron pattern in Photoshop using the wave filter. Be sure to check out my other video tutorials on how to create patterns in Photoshop. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment below. In the description, I will leave a link to my shop where I sell Photoshop pattern templates. You can also check out my Etsy shop where I sell digital paper for digital scrapbooking. Thank you for watching this video. This is Trisha from Lemon Paper Lab. See you next time.